Hello everyone, Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense. Thank you for watching. I have another Monday quarterback video for you. This time it comes from Decatur, Illinois. This video is going to be pretty short in duration. And um, we actually do not get to see the entire rest of the incident. Uh, for whatever reason, this is the only footage that the uh, police have released on this. Uh, it doesn't actually show the arrest or anything like that, but um, typically what I do is I play these videos in their entirety, and then I go back, hit rewind, talk about things that are going on uh, to kind of give them a better idea of what's going on, and then talk about things I think that are done right, done wrong. Um, I'm a, I have to add a little bit of backstory to it, so to speak, when it first starts, because uh, there's stuff that goes on that you don't get to see. But it's obviously extremely important on what's going on. Because I remember first watching this video and I saw some things occur later on. I'm like, whoa, what's going on? And I had to, of course, you know, go read the news report on it to get a better understanding on what all is going on. So uh, without further ado, here we go. Uh, one more thing I want to add. Uh, this video comes from Police Overwatch on YouTube. If you have not already, head on over to the Police Overwatch page on YouTube and subscribe to their channel. Uh, they have lots of videos like this on here and lots of good um, educational content. So, uh, what we see is the dash cam footage of an officer sitting in a parking lot. Uh, he's doing his, his reports. And this white car that you see has the suspect in there. This uh, this guy, Marcus Boykin, he's going to uh, pull up alongside the officer and shoot at him with a 32 caliber handgun. So we don't actually get to see the shooting take place, but this guy pulling into the parking lot, that's what he does. He pulls alongside him and he shoots at him at some point and then takes off and now the officer who, who was not hit, starts to pursue him. Now, obviously, that appeared to be some type of time lapse. Uh, there's no um, time indicators on the video, so we don't get to see how much time transpired between them pulling out of the parking lot and them being here in this roadway. Uh, the news report did say that while they while they were chasing him, he was um, taking the gun and pointing it to his own head. And then uh, later on, here in a little bit, uh, he actually points it back at the officer when they come to a near stop. We see another officer on foot over here. He's going to be running and try and throw spike strips out to hit this vehicle. But he falls short. Not successful at it. They have already spiked him. And you can see it in this wheel here. This wheel's already been deflated. Um, they've... I don't know how many times they spiked him, but they spiked him uh, once before this. And they were trying to get another uh, spike attempt to flatten the other... Uh, tires of the vehicle.
this is just from where he shoots at the suspect. So, um, points a gun at him, and then the officer fires through the windshield. Now, this, is, of course, is um, an exigent um, kind of situation where he was not able to get out of his vehicle and then start shooting. He had to start putting rounds uh, down range immediately and through his windshield. Um, if you've never thought, if you've never shot through a windshield before, I can tell you that uh, it does affect your accuracy because your projectile is going through glass, laminate glass. And when that happens, that causes some type of deflection. There's no set rule on what that is. It can either go down, it can either go up, it can go to the left, it can go to the right. Um, it's, I mean, it'll, it'll go somewhere other than where you want it to go exactly. So, I mean, if he was aiming at the back of that guy's head um, and he fired, I mean, that bullet going through that first hole that it makes, that first round, it's not going to go where he wants it to. It's going to go somewhere else. And so that's the problem with shooting through windshields. Um, you know, once you, once you make that decision to go ahead and start shooting through windshield, uh, try to punch a hole, so to speak, that you can start firing through, uh, where those rounds are not going to be touching anything and causing them to deflect that way, excuse me, that way your rounds will hit where you want them to. Um, but that's just something that, you know, unless you have that opportunity uh, to be able to train and practice with that, it's it's just something you're not going to fully understand. And again, uh, movies, Hollywood does our society a huge disservice when they show things like people shoot, shooting through a windshield and someone being able to shoot the balls off a nap. Um, that, just, that doesn't happen. Um, real life, uh, windshields deflect rounds very uh, very seriously and so at that distance who knows really where those first couple rounds went through they might not even hit the vehicle at all um, just just know that going forward that windshields cause great deflection on rounds And so that's all that we get to see. We don't get to see the conclusion of this video. It basically just starts out um, with the beginning uh, stage of this, where the dude pulls into the parking lot, shoots at him, and then um, takes off. And then you see him shoot at him uh, during the pursuit when he points the gun back at him, and that's pretty much where the video ends. What it doesn't show is they actually um, get to stop this guy and they get him out. Um, he gets out and he pretty much takes his gun and puts it like under his chin and uh, I guess kind of threatens to kill himself and they finally get him on the ground and uh, I think he tries to crawl back towards the weapon to get a hold of it and they're able to take him into custody. Uh, he lived, uh, he's in jail, last I knew from reading news articles, he's in jail and has like a $50,000 cash bond or something like that. Um, pretty straightforward video, as always, uh, these dirt bags bring it upon themselves. Uh, this dude, they did find that he was under the influence of alcohol, he had cocaine in the system, and um, I want to say, I can't remember what it was. I know alcohol and cocaine for sure um, were in the system. He was driving on a suspended license that had been like suspended for over a year or so or something like that. Um, but this dude, you know, he rolled up on this guy who's doing literally nothing to anyone. He's just sitting there working on his paperwork. 
and this dude decides to roll up and try and kill him uh, while he's just doing <laughs> boring ass paperwork. And this is this is a, a perfect illustration on how law enforcement can go from zero to a hundred in the blink of an eye. And this guy rolls up and just shoots. Luckily, uh, he missed and didn't hit the officer. Um, you know, if he did, it, it, it might have been a good possibility that it could turn into an unsolved case. Um, who knows? Um, I, I highly doubt that this officer's um, camera was rolling the entire time. What some of these systems do is as soon as you activate the lights and the siren, they do include um, up to like 30 seconds of footage before, you know, the activation thing occurs. Um, that's probably why we get to see him pull into the parking lot and pull alongside him. Um, who knows if there was any security cameras on the building. So if this guy was successful uh, in his attempt, I mean, it's late at night. He's in a parking lot all by himself. This very easily could have turned into an unsolved murder on a police officer. Thankfully, it did not uh, happen like that. Um, shot to the police and then tried to point his, point his gun at the police again. And uh, they shot at him. So nothing wrong with the shooting in this video, in my opinion. Uh, the only thing that I would say uh, is what I talked about earlier with shooting through glass. Uh, glass does has a, have a serious impact on... Um, on your bullets it will cause deflection and there's no set guideline or rule on what kind of deflection occurs at that point i can tell you that the closer you are the more likely you're able to, to hit something the further your target is out away from you uh, the more likely that you're not going to put any rounds on target and we did we get to see from where he shot at him uh, you don't ever see his back windshield bust or anything like that. So um, I'm pretty confident that he at least didn't even hit the windshield area. We'll watch it one more time. So, yeah, I don't, I mean, typically when the back windshield gets hit, you'll see some spider webbing and stuff like that. Granted, this isn't the greatest video quality. I mean, he could have put a hole in that windshield, that rear windshield, but I didn't see anything that indicated that. So it's possible that his rounds maybe hit the trunk area. And it's even possible that no rounds hit the vehicle. Um, I don't really know for sure, but shooting through glass sucks. And uh, it's not, it's not going to be what the Hollywood shows it to be. You're not going to hit bullseyes at 100 yards shooting through glass. It's just not going to happen. Uh, try to punch a hole, so to speak, with your rounds and create a big enough hole where your following rounds won't touch anything and won't cause them to deflect. If you like what you see in here, go ahead and give me a like and a share. If you've not already, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more Monday quarterback videos. Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense, thank you for watching.